Hello guys and welcome here. My name is Asin and in today's video we are going to trade the moving average strategy on Microsoft Excel. Uh, so basically this strategy on, well, we'll recreate the strategy on Excel in order to practice uh, some Excel skills. Um, so to be able to do that, the first thing that we are going to need will be a stock that we want to trade. Uh, in our case, we want to trade the Amazon stock that you see right here. Now, uh, once we have our stock, what we need next will be the historical data of that stock. So to be able to go and look for that historical data, how we're going to proceed is pretty simple. So we're going to go here and what we want to do is we want to use a function that is called stock history. So stock history is here. We can select it. And as you can see, there is multiple parameters inside of that function. So the first parameter that we are going to work with will be the stock. So in our case, the stock is on this cell right there. Now, the second parameter will be the start date. So we want our history to be back uh, well, 120 days uh, back. So in this case, well, from today's date. So we'll select today. We'll write down today. And we're going to do minus 120. The end date, which is the next parameter, will be the today's date. So this means, until now, what exactly this means? I want the stock history of this stock from the date that starts 120 days from today until today. So we'll have 120 days of uh, that. Next, we want to have our intervals um, on a daily, weekly or monthly basis. So we want to have it on a daily basis. So it's going to be zero. Uh, we want to have a header, so it's going to be one. Then we can enter the, well, the elements that we need. In our case, the first element that we need uh, will be the date, so it's going to be zero. Then we want the open price, which will be two. We want the highest price, which will be three. The lowest price, four. And finally, the close uh, at the end of the day, so it will be one. Um, now, what we can do next is simply close our parentheses. So as you can see here, we have all the data for Amazon uh, for the past 120 days. <coughs> Next step uh, is pretty simple. We want to generate our averages. So we can go here and generate a moving average. So we'll call it moving average. Once we have it, uh, we want to have a 10 days moving average. So we'll write down 10 days here and a 20 days. So 10 days and 20 days. Um, next. What we want to do next is pretty simple. Uh, we'll just add our borders and then we are going to calculate 10 uh, cells. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And here we can just merge those cells together. Uh, for our 20 days, we'll do the same thing and uh, just copy and paste it twice. There we go. Uh, the next step will be calculating the average for uh, every day for the past 10 days because this is the logic behind the moving average. So the moving average, basically the way it works, uh, it calculates the average of the past uh, well, X amount of period, X days of period, if I can say it this way. So if you want a moving average of 10 days, it will calculate the average of the past 10 days and give you a moving average. And since it's on a chart, you will see a line that moves. And um, we'll do the same thing, but we won't create a chart. Um, so right here, we will have our average. So it will be equal and we'll write down average and simply select uh, all the, well, the past 10 days. And there we go, we can just click on enter after that. And what we can do next is simply take all this and drag it till uh, the end. So here we go. Uh, we have our averages, we have a moving average for 10 days. We'll do the same thing for the 20 days period. So we'll write down equal average. We'll just select the average right here. Um, once it's all done, what we want to do, we want to do the same thing. We want to take the past 20 days average. So we'll select the past 20 days and we'll just click on enter right after that. Um, and then what we can do next is pretty simple. We'll just take this and drag it down there. Great. Now that we have all this data, the next step is actually adding the conditional formatting for our data. So how we are going to proceed. Uh, so it's going to be pretty simple uh, for our first cell right here. We're going to go on manage rules and we are going to add a new rule. 
So we'll use a formula to determine which cell to format. <clears throat> so in this case, it's going to be this cell right here. Um, so what exactly will be the, the rule right there? So the rule is simple. If this cell right here, in this case, is greater than this cell right here, we want to we want the cell to be red all right so we'll just go format and we are going to fill it in red now really important before we continue is to delete the dollar signs because if you don't delete it um, your cells will be locked and you will not be able to apply this uh, well this fun not function but this uh, condition to all the cells. So don't lock your cells. And we just click on OK. The next thing, we are going to add a new rule and we're going to do the same thing. So we'll go here. And the second rule is the same thing. But in this case, if this cell right here is smaller than this cell right here, we want the table well, we want our cell here to become green so we'll just go here and we're gonna make it green and now what we want to do next is pretty simple we're just gonna take our dollar signs away there we go and here we go and then we can just click on ok and we click on ok and as you can see here it became red um, and then what we can do next is pretty simple. We can just take it and drag it right there. So what exactly we can see right here. So each time that this cell right there, well, this, uh, the, the moving average basically is greater than the closing price, it becomes red. And each time that the moving average is smaller than the closing price, it becomes green. All right. Um, so how exactly can we trade this? So it's pretty simple. Uh, once you see a uh, red symbol, well, a red color, what you can do, you can simply sell it. So for example, here, it's green, so you will buy. And the moment it turns red, you're gonna close your position. And once again, do the same thing. So here, uh, you will sell. Once again, you're gonna lose money here, you're gonna lose money here, but here, you're gonna make money, all right? So once again, on a trading strategy, sometimes you lose money, sometimes you win money. Once again, this is just how you can program a moving average strategy uh, directly on Microsoft Excel. And here, you know exactly when you have to buy and when you have to sell. So each time that it's red, you sell. Each time that it's green, you buy. Um, so now what you can do to practice, you can do pretty much the same thing for the 20 days moving average, um, just to practice what we have just learned. And what you can do as well is instead of, for example, the Amazon stock, uh, well, you can, for example, add another stock and it will automatically do all this uh, for you. So let's say, for example, instead of Amazon, we add the uh, Apple. So it's going to be AAPL. And we run uh, and we run it. As you can see, everything changes and uh, we are going to have the stock price for uh, Apple for the past 120 days. And uh, it's pretty much the same strategy. So as you can see, it's right here. We set, well, here we'll close our buying. Well, we gotta close our buying position right there. We'll open a sell position and we'll close our sell position right here. We're gonna open a buy position here. And as you can see, uh, this is pretty much how we, well, how we trade this uh, strategy, if I can say it this way. Once again, all this is just to make you practice your Microsoft Excel skills and show you, well, uh, a little bit the financial aspect of uh, how we can use Microsoft Excel. Uh, so I hope you had uh, fun making this little project. Um, once again, it's nothing that complicated and I hope you enjoyed it. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to leave a like, to subscribe and see you in another of my videos.